All right, welcome back. We got all of our files imported into GarageBand. We uh, went over some editing techniques and, of course, automation. So now we're ready to focus a little bit on making sure our introduction in general sounds smooth. We went over sort of the art of the fade using automation. But as you can see, there, there are other aspects to making sure the introduction is exactly what we want it to be. For example, this is the interview that I did. And I went through and tried to find an excerpt from the interview that I thought was interesting. And that does require going back and listening to the interview to sort of figure out, well, what should go in the introduction that might hook the audience a little bit? or at least just give us a preview into something interesting that our guest said. And that ultimately becomes the excerpt for here in the introduction. I basically went through all this, found what I wanted, and simply cut and paste and put it here, right at the beginning. And as you can see here, this is our pre-recorded introduction, courtesy of Ed. The music transition into the interview, which, again, this is the uh, backup track that I use for my particular interview. So that's why you don't see uh, an Andrew track and a Jim track separately. So let's play this back and give it a listen, because clearly... We might want to make this a little bit better than it sounds currently. Well, then maybe we can do something to actually make kids more reflective. Uh, make kids more reflective. All right, all right. We can already tell that there's an issue, certainly with the volume levels. And then you can even tell the within the waveform itself, this Tundra intro, which is the music that you use for your introduction is a lot louder than Andrew. So that's kind of why we have to go back to our old friend automation again. And as you can see, he's turned all the way up here because yeah, it was a little bit, a little bit quieter than the music, like I said. So now let's go ahead. And as you learned before, we want to make a strong fade in with the music. Well, that's to last about five seconds or so. We do that here again by clicking and creating two dots. And then there we go for our fade in it lasts about five seconds. And here's our excerpt of our guest. Now we can clearly see that this is going to be a lot louder as we heard. So let's make two dots right here and drag this a lot lower than you'd be surprised how low you can go and how low you should go because we want to be able to hear Andrew's excerpt during the introduction. Well, then maybe we can do something to actually make kids more reflective. Uh, and if we make kids more reflective, well, then maybe that will increase like, how well they do in school. And school. So there we go. I'm trying to make this a little bit more of a smoother fade out just by simply extending it. Clicking on the dots always does wonders. Well, then maybe we can do something to actually make kids more reflective. Uh, and if we make kids more reflective, well, then maybe that will increase like, how well they do in school and stuff. Okay, we also know that this music is going to want to fade out. So let's do that like we learned before. You're listening to New Ideas. and then So there we go. That's kind of how we start out with our introduction here. And uh, we can adjust the intro of, of Ed coming in as well if we so choose to, which we certainly can. Just so he doesn't come on a little too loudly there at the beginning. I always like to just play around again with automation. You're listening to new ideas. And then there. Now he comes in a little bit smoother. 
and that is very good for our introduction. Uh, let's go back and listen to our work here. Well, then maybe we can do something to actually make kids more reflective. Uh, and if we make kids more reflective, well, then maybe that will increase uh, how well they do in school. So. You're listening to New Ideas. And All right. So there you go. That's kind of how you start out editing your introduction. Because, you know, we want our intro music to come in nice and smoothly here. Then we wanted to drop out because, as you can tell, this file needs to be a lot quieter so the excerpt from the interview can be heard. And again, this will vary depending on the volume level of your recorded interview. It certainly won't necessarily be as quiet as Andrew is here. So you do have to sort of play around and experiment with what sounds right to you. And then, of course, we have the music fading out. And our pre-recorded introduction, courtesy of Ed, is fading in right here, and we're good to go. So stay tuned for more on the outro portion, and I look forward to seeing you there. <laughs>